Alright y'all. Okay. Get the onions together. And now I'm about to get some tomato in there. I'll take the stick of oil. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to get the tomatoes in here. Tomatoes in there. And I have my um, pre chopped up peppers and onions that I have in here that I chopped up from the other night. I'm just going to add some peppers to this. I'm going to try something. Um, I don't usually make it with the peppers, but I'm just going to add some peppers to it. Try something different. And let's turn the heat back up. And here's a closer look on how everything should be looking. Cooking up nice and good. The onions, the peppers, and the tomatoes. Cook that up nicely. Alright. Just saute that up. And then you're going to open your can of tuna. So now that you got your can of tuna open, Get it in a bowl that you can use to like mix it up in. Because you're going to need you some mayonnaise. You're going to need some mayonnaise. And then you're going to need some salt and some pepper. So now, so now open the mayonnaise up. You got to get the mayonnaise. You gotta use about two spoons of mayonnaise. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And you're gonna mix that up real good. Right? Then you're gonna get yourself some salt. Pour some salt in there. And then you're gonna get yourself some black pepper. Pour some black pepper in there. So you got your salt and your black pepper. And now, now you're gonna get grab yourself some, now you're gonna grab yourself some vinegar. Okay, and now pour some vinegar in there. And that's probably about three tablespoons of vinegar. I might add some more. So this is what it should look like with all your ingredients in there. Okay. So just mix that up really good. Added a little bit more of vinegar. Okay. So you want it to be smooth but not runny. So it's nice and smooth but it's not runny. Get it to a nice consistency like so. Like a paste. Right? 
Okay, so now I have some potato buns that has already been toasted. So typically I would use bagels, some onion bagels or plain bagels, whatever kind of bagels you like. But I usually use plain bagels or onion bagels to do this recipe. But I don't have any on hand, so I'm using potato buns. So now you're gonna take your onions and tomatoes that you sauteed earlier, right? You're gonna take your onions and tomatoes and your bell peppers that you sauteed earlier. And I'm telling y'all, this is so delicious. Like, this is so good. Okay, and now you're gonna go in with your tuna. And this is only one can of tuna and it serves you a lot. So this feeds maybe about four people. This can feed, you know, maybe three or four people this one can of tuna because of all the ingredients that you're putting in here or if you want to make a really fat sandwich you can do that too <laughs> and as you can see as you can see we still have some left over after these two sandwiches so now I'm gonna take a slice of cheese I usually use shredded cheese, but we don't have that on here, so we're going to use, you can also um, add some, you can also add some powder Parmesan cheese, that's so good as well. And there you have it, a hot a hot tuna sandwich, you guys. So now we're gonna do the taste test. We're gonna have Babe taste it. Of course, we have to finish off with a taste test. So hold on, you guys. So in the end, this is how it looks. Delicious. How is it, babe? It's good. <laughs> it's delicious, y'all. Babe's a little shy. He's trying to be subtle about it, but it's delicious. 